what's happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. And welcome back to Chelsea News, the series where I go through Chelsea news. Funnily enough, consolidate some stuff, put it in a package for you guys and express my opinion and then ask for yours. And there's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about in today's video. I want to talk about the fact how Chelsea are not going in for Jeremy Boga and the buyback clause. I also want to talk about the reason why N'Golo Kante decided to opt out of training and does not feel comfortable with resuming football. And a couple of players linked to Chelsea Football Club. I also want to talk about, of course, Ajax fullback Tagliafico, who's a really generally very good player, could be an option for Chelsea, yet another Ajax player linked to the Blues. That's right. And also the rather unfortunately named Jesus Corona. Been playing as a fullback quite a lot for Porto, but yeah, I know, another Porto fullback. But apparently he could be an alternative to Jaden Sancho to play more on the front line on the flanks for Frank Lampard's Blues. It's possible. So a lot to catch up on today. A quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Please do click the bell notifications icon quickly. It takes a second. Why not like the video to help me out as well? All right, let's get on with it. Let's start off with N'Golo Kante. Superstar, World Cup winner, defensive midfielder, destroyer midfielder, whatever you want to call him. We all know he's sort of opted out to continue training with the team and Frank Lampard and Chelsea Football Club respect and honour his decision. Decision. I've spoken about this before, Kante had a health scare himself where he fainted in training and they had a look at him but he seemed to be okay and he lost his brother as well just before the World Cup. Although two very serious situations, apparently one of the main things that led to his decision is the fact how recently he endured quite severe symptoms. Now this was stated by Chelsea goalkeeper Willy Caballero on an Instagram live video. He said, although N'Golo Kante tested negative for the virus, prior to that he was enduring quite heavy symptoms while he was in quarantine and it's, a, it's an additional thing really to scare him into thinking, look man, this isn't worth it, my health is too important, family is too important, I'm out bro. Which is fair enough, Willy Caballero has pretty much said everyone respects him and you know has a lot of sort of love and respect for Kante. So no problems there, I guess maybe we won't see him for the rest of the season. We'll have to see what happens. Before I get into the transfer news, let's talk about Jeremy Boga. This is something I've spoken about before, but I'd like to reiterate it as it does look more concrete now. It has been reported that Chelsea will not go in for the buyback of Jeremy Boga to bring him back to Stamford Bridge. Some Chelsea fans are frustrated at this because it did look like a wicked deal for a very, very good player. But the truth is, it doesn't really make sense for him. Sure, Chelsea would have loved him as a rotational winger, but the fact remains is he's had an excellent season in Serie A, and he has the opportunity to maintain his sort of position as a starting player at a high level. The likes of Napoli are really interested in Jeremy Boga, and they would probably start him. He probably liked the idea of coming back to Chelsea had Chelsea been able to offer him a starting spot, but probably knowing he wouldn't be starting for Chelsea, he wants to stay in Italy, continue starting for a team, a top team hopefully, and move on from there. And obviously a lot of people also said, well, why don't Chelsea just buy him to flip him to say Napoli for a massive profit? Sure, that sounds great in principle, but you'd have to get the player to sign for Chelsea first. And he's gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna just sign for you so you can make a bunch of money on me, bro. Go away. You catch what I'm saying. So I don't know the exact uh, parts of the deal or intricacies of the contract. Maybe Chelsea have a sell-on clause for Jeremy Boga. They might make a little bit on top regardless. We will have to see, but by all accounts, they will not be exercising the clause to buy him back this summer. So Chelsea are looking elsewhere for a rotational forward slash winger. Which brings us on to the first transfer story of today. And like I said at the top of the video, it's the unfortunately named Jesus Corona. It's just bad timing, innit? I'm just gonna call him Jesus. Jesus is one of the most versatile players playing out in Portugal, playing for Porto. Chelsea have been negotiating with Porto for a while, for the purchase of Alex Tellez. We're not sure that's gonna happen, but this is another option for Chelsea and it's been all around the rags that they are in for this player. He has played left back, right back, defender right, as in maybe center half, maybe. Yeah, looks like he's played center half. Forward on both, basically he's played everywhere. He can play everywhere on the pitch. He's this kind of super versatile player that I guess Frank Lampard would enjoy because he can move him over flanks if he needs to, if he's making substitutions. He can play him as a winger or as a fullback. 
and maybe if you're going to have this player as a rotational option, someone that versatile could be really useful for the squad, and knowing perhaps he's a backup rotational player, he'll know that his versatility gives him a chance to have more minutes, even if he's not starting on the wing. Jesus is a senior player in his prime at 27 years old, and in Liga Nosh this season he has 9 goal involvements, which is pretty good, and that's playing at fullback. And you'd assume, and what the newspapers are saying, that if he came to Chelsea, he would not be playing as a fullback. He'd be playing further forward. So you'd imagine his numbers to be maybe a little bit better. But seven assists in this league campaign from fullback is very good indeed. Now, the papers are saying this would cost Chelsea £26 million. Again, not me. The papers are saying, for any of you who are getting confused out there, I am not the news outlet. I am a content creator talking about the headlines. To be honest, if Chelsea are going to be in financial difficulty and if they're going to be looking for one sort of semi-superstar player, these kind of players in between for 26 million are going to be massive shouts, you know, really important purchases. So maybe Jesus Corona could, uh, <laughs> could be that rotational winger. Who knows? Right, from one potential bargain to another, let's talk about Nicolas Tagliafico. Rated at 25 million euros, I was about to say pound, euros, not that there's much of a difference these days. He has been linked to a few Premier League clubs, notably as well, Chelsea Football Club. If Chelsea cannot get the likes of Ben Chilwell or Alex Tellez over the line, they could be looking at Tagliafico. They've obviously got an open relationship with Ajax now. They're trying to give them money, you know, Ziyech. Who knows, maybe eventually, or Nana, maybe Tagliafico. Also, another player in his prime, again, 27 years old, with seven league goal contributions in uh, the Eredivisie this season. But it's not necessarily the metric to be judging Tagliafico on. He's been a very, very good player for Ajax. He was very good against us in the Champions League. He's superb engine getting up and down and he would be a conventional left back, unlike Robin Gosens, Marcus Alonso, etc. If Frank Lampard sees him as a really good functioning player in his Chelsea side, in his setup, that could be a good option for the Blues. What do I think? Well, I think the most important thing for Chelsea at left back is they get a player with a good engine. Sure, they've relied oddly on Marcus Alonso's goals of late, but one thing he doesn't have that does leave Chelsea vulnerable is the engine to get up and down like Reese. James. When Azpilicueta plays at left back under Frank Lampard, it's very much a defensive solidity thing, occupying the right space, bringing calm to the defence because, of course, Frank Lampard trusts Cesar Azpilicueta as captain and as a seasoned senior player at Chelsea Football Club. But we need someone with a little bit more drive who can combine better down the left hand side. And perhaps Nicola Tagliafico could be that guy. Not necessarily a personal favourite of mine, but at this point I'm just trusting the gaffer really. See, look, if you think he's good, if you think he's going to work in your plan, bring him in, mate. Do you know what I mean? Neither of these guys are necessarily massive, inspiring superstar signings, especially when the likes of Jesus Corona is being talked about as a Jaden Sancho alternative, you know, from a £100 million player to a £25 million player. But the truth is, really, he'd it would be the rotational winger that Chelsea are probably looking for. Do you know what I mean? You've got Ziyech and you've got Pulisic to start on the wings. Let's be real. And then you've got like the likes of hudson Adoy to challenge on the wings and rotate in. You're really looking for that other rotational winger that will be given the chance. Do you know what I mean? He could be that guy. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on all the stories I've spoken about in today's video. Jeremy Boger, do you understand why he didn't want to be the rotational winger at Chelsea? And that's probably why they couldn't get him to pen a deal with a buyback. Let me know your thoughts on that. How do you feel about N'Golo Kante opting out of Chelsea? <laughs> opting out of Chelsea? Opting out of playing for Chelsea for the rest of the season? I understand personally, you can only play if you're comfortable. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. As well as dropping your opinions in the comments section regarding both Jesus and Tagliafico. Do you know these players? Have you watched them? Do you think they would help Chelsea and Frank Lampard's Blues? Express yourself down below and if you've enjoyed the content that I've provided for you guys today, I'd urge you all to like the video, that helps me out a lot. Subscribe also to Football Therapy if you are indeed new to the channel. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That is it from me guys. Enjoy the football that is hopefully soon happening in England and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. 
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby